good morning students good morning to all so now the time to study the commas so already we have completed the first lesson and today we can complete the second lessons okay so the second lesson is objectives of business so in this second lesson already we have studied the activities the economic activities and the non economic activities and some of the type of activities and the classification of activities also we have studied okay the classification of economic activities or the business activities can be classified on the basis of ownership and the circumstances and the area or the size so we can classify it no and last day we have studied the classification of business activity on the basis of size and the ownership only right on the basis of size so we can classify the business activity on two types small scale like business activity and large scale business activity so on the basis of ownership also we can classify two types first one is private organization and the public organization next one is joint enterprises okay today we can study the classification of business activity on the basis of their function okay on the basis of the function how can we classify the business activity before that we can just remind the classification of business activity on the basis of size so already we studied you know the business activities on the basis of size we can classify two types one is small scale business activities okay so in this small scale business activities the business organization must has the least capital and the small number of workers okay if any one of the entrepreneur of any one of the organizations are doing their business activity with the help of less capital and the small number of workers this activity is called as a small scale business organization or business activities okay for example manufacturing textile in hand loom or power looms okay by using the one single unit of manufacturing textile by using hand looms or the power looms okay and not only that for establishing the small scale business activity so we must need the amount the amount should not exceed the 2 crores okay and the number of workers also should not exceed the 100 workers okay so below 100 workers and below 2 crores is entrepreneurs are started or established in of the industries that industry is called as small scale industry okay next large scale industries okay it is also the same but this type of the business activities are undertaken with the help of huge capital and large number of workers okay the huge capital the amount the need required amount must be above 2 crores okay and the number of workers also above 250 250 50 workers okay for example manufacturing textile in large the raymond textiles and the tripur cotton world and what the pothis and so many of the textile industries are undertaking their own in the large scale okay next business activities in the basis of ownership okay so the first one is private enterprises so this type of the enterprises are said to be with the help of individual paper individual people okay some of the enterprises is said to be a private enterprises where it is owned managed and controlled by some of the persons are then government okay so here all the business activities are deciding of the business are undertaken by the 
single individual patients which okay, are the sole proprietors okay so the all the enterprises it is owned managed and controlled by a single persons okay but even though so we can consider this private enterprises as a sole proprietorship and the partnership okay next public enterprises okay so the public enterprises is said to be a enterprises where it is owned managed and controlled by the government or any of its agencies okay sometimes it will be both okay for example is departmental undertaking and the public corporations are some of the government companies okay the state trading companies are so many of the companies are there another one is joint enterprises joint enterprises mean it is said to be a joint enterprises where it is owned managed and controlled by government and private entrepreneurs okay so in our book the example is mark suzuki is mentioned but so many of the other companies also existing in our nations in the form of joint enterprises right okay now the today class the activities on the basis of function okay how the business activity is functioning on the basis of the functioning of the work we can classify the business activities okay so in this basis of function we can classify the business activity as two type first one is industries next one is commerce i think you have some idea about the industry right so in this industries includes all those business activities which are connected with raising producing or processing of consumer goods okay which are connected with production or processing of consumer goods okay if any of the organizations are producing or processing of consumer goods means so the channel of distribution how to distribute the consumer goods from the place to consumer to place of consumer to the hands of producers okay sorry the place of producer to the hands of consumers okay anyway some of the industries must be having their business activities with the production or processing of consumer goods okay for example so all type of the consumer goods so what are the consumer goods whatever we are using for our normal days that is the consumer goods if any of the organizations are having the undertaking the process of production or processing of consumer goods that is called industry right next one is commerce so this is also you may have studied it before itself you know so they establish the a link between the producers and the consumers of goods and maintains a smooth of and interrupted flow of goods from producer to consumer okay so the commerce is the link between a producer to the consumers okay so in these industries so some of the persons are some of the organizations are undertaking the process of production of consumer goods okay but after over the production so the, the produced commodities have to reach the hands of consumer right so in this area those people are coming to make a link between the producer and the consumer that activity is called as commercial activity or it is commerce okay so many of the distributors and the wholesaler retailer and the channel of distribution everything also will be coming under the commerce okay so commerce simply mean so commerce establish the link between a producer and the consumers okay what are the activities are made by create a link between producer and consumer is called commerce right next the characteristics of business okay we are calling the business you know so some of the business activities are going on but the business must have some of the characteristics what are the characteristics are there 
in the business activities mean first as a good business have the production or procurement of goods the production or procurement of goods okay so in this business organization the production or the procurement of goods must be happen okay for the purpose of satisfying the human wants okay so on the basis of the human wants only so the need of productions will be appear but even though the business if you are considering the business must be have the undertaking of production of good or the procurement of goods to satisfying the consumer wants okay so without the production or without procurement of the goods from one person to another person is not considered a business okay so as a business organization in this business organization must will happen the production or procurement of goods right next sale or transfer of exchange okay as a business activities must be the one of the characteristics of sales or transfer of exchange why the business activity has the characteristics one of the characteristics of sales transfer of exchange mean so without the transfer of exchange or the sale of the commodities we now should not or we cannot come consider the business activities because for example if any of the persons are producing any of the commodities for their own purpose it is not their business activity okay what can we say some of the people only cultivating the small crops for their own purpose okay but if they are cultivating some of the crops for their own purpose it is not considered as a business okay some of the persons are weaving some of the clothes for their own purpose it is not considered as a business okay if you want to consider the action as a business activities mean so there must be a sale or transfer exchange this must okay, we must sell the commodities from one person to another one of the persons or the commodities must be transferred from one hand to another one of the hand okay if any of the persons are producing the commodities for their own purpose it is not considered as a business okay next point is dealing in goods and services dealing in goods and services under this point there must be have some of the dealing in goods and services goods and services mean maybe the good good maybe as a consumer goods like a paint press and soap and the books stationery items and everything is also called as a consumer goods and some of the service service means the supply of electricity gas water transportation banking insurance everything is also considered as a service the service is also provided by one of the business organizations because nowadays the so many of the people are needed of the service only because they without the transport without the education without the electricity without the gas without the banking insurance no man can live okay so some of the dealing must be arranged within the goods and services okay so the dealing then goods and services mean so any of the business organization must have the dealing in providing the services or transferring the goods from one hands to another persons or one organization to public that is called dealing in goods and services next the regularity of dealings regularity of dealings an isolated dealing in buying and selling does not constitute business okay isolated dealing mean suppose if i want on the basis of my desireness i am purchasing one of the bike okay so after using the bike if i don't want have this bike i can sell to the another persons okay but this activity is cannot accepted as a business activity okay So if you want to accept that or consider the business activity the dealing of goods and services goods and services must be happen as a regular basis okay 
so some of the persons are purchasing two more bikes and uh, exchanging or modifying that bike and if they are selling to the another one of the person as a that way as a second hand so it is considered as a business activities okay so when the purpose of earning the profit if your persons are dealing the regular basis the commodity or the goods and services that is called in regular of dealings okay so the business activities must be have the dealings of goods and services on a regular basis okay simply the buying and selling must be recurrent to the constitute business okay so recurrent means so again and again the same process have to be happen next profit motive so an important feature of business is profit motive so business is an economic activity by which human being make their living okay if any of the persons are doing their business activity that person must be having some of the profit motive okay without profit motive if any of the persons are doing the business Our business activities it is not considered as a business it is called as a service services mean so on the free services okay it is not considered as business okay so in fact the attraction of profit which is pros people to do business okay so the people the profit only will make all the entrepreneur as a good businessman okay if any of the entrepreneur are doing some of the work without having the profit it will not considered as a business okay so one of the features of the business is must having the profit motive okay next element of risk and this point so we can tell the profit that is expected in a business is always uncertain because it depend upon a number of factors behind the control of businessman okay now if you are doing some of the business mean the business must be face the some of risk some of the risk mean in this risk so the loss the loss is also one of the element of risk or one of the part of risk in business activities okay so no businessman will earning more profit or the continuous profit in throughout the year okay so all the entrepreneur must be facing some of the risk of losses so risk in losses also will be arised on the basis of many factors what are the factors mean change in consumer preference okay normally now the consumer are preferring one type of commodities and on the basis of changing the time the preference of consumer will change okay whenever the preference of consumer is changing that time some of the loss will be arisen in business activities okay now the normal mobile was sold in our market okay after the arrival of the android mobile so normal mobile was disappear the demand of the normal mobile was disappear okay next is shortage of raw materials okay whenever the raw material to produce is having the shortage or lack of the raw materials that time also some of the loss will be happen okay next power crisis or transport bottlenecks okay so because of this uh, factors also some of them loss will be arises in our business organizations okay so may, many factors are affecting the business activities because of the loss okay so the loss risk of loss must be happening in the business organizations it is also one of the characteristics of business okay students next we will see the comparison of business profession and employment so already we have studied as a separately i think you may have understand or you must understand okay 
first the mode of establishment okay how can we establish the business organizations so promoters decision for the registration and other formalities as prescribed by law okay some of the business laws are there is made by the government okay on the basis of the prescribed business law we can establish the business organization okay and the profession how can we establish the profession mean the membership of a professional body or certificate of practice okay some of the professional body the all the professionalists also have one of the professional organizations that the organizations may be called as a professional body okay so in this organization one person must be have a membership and his this person must have the certificate of practice of some particular line okay next employment okay how can we make the employment mean simple matter service conduct or letter of appointment okay suppose if you got any of the job opportunity from any of the organization mean he will give up of the letter of appointment if you have the uh, appointment letter you can get the job okay next is nature of work in this business activity or in this business how the nature of work will be there mean goods and services provided to the public okay the businessman are producing the commodities and the produce the commodities is provided to the public okay not only the goods services also provided by the businessman or the business organization okay but in the professions okay how nature of work will be there in this profession mean the personalized service of expert nature okay personalized skill for example doctor must be providing their personalized service of expert in nature again this nature he will get some of the personal skill this personal skill to only will be provided to the public okay but in this employment how the nature of work is they mean performing work assigned by the employer the like employer is assigned some of the work the employee must be complement their work or perform their work next qualifications so what qualification is needed to establish the business or business organization no minimum qualification is essential okay even some of the uneducated people also have the more capital and uh, have the special talent to produce any of the commodities or conducting any of the business organization he can conduct okay but in profession so the qualification must be needed the education and training in specialized field is must okay for the doctor must be completed the mbbs the lawyer must be completed the dl okay like as so many of the professions must be completed their specialized field but in employment minimum qualification is essential minimum qualifications mean so on the basis of the job so the minimum qualification is essential right next basic motive what are the basic motive of business so earning profit by satisfying needs of society okay so the basic motive of the business organization is earning profits by satisfying needs of society okay. the basic motive is earning profit only but the profit also earned by satisfying the needs of society okay but here profession the basic motive of the profession or the professional is is rendering service okay as a doctor must be have one of the motive to protecting the patient okay like that the teachers also having some of the services to teach or make a student as a best but in this employment so earning wages or salary by serving the employer okay one of the basic motive of the employment is serving the employer with the aim of earning wages or salary okay and the capital how much amount of capital is need to establishing the business activity so capital investment required as per the size of the firm okay if we arranged if you arranged the small size of business organization 
so the low capital or less capital is essential okay otherwise if you want to establish the huge amount of the large scale qualifications large scale business activities mean the huge amount the huge capital is needed okay but in this proportion so limited capital necessary for establishment limited capital only is necessary not for studying not for get gathering their qualifications for establishing the profession area some of the limited capital is necessary okay for example for studying the mbbs so many amount is needed okay but that amount will not come in, will not added into the account of establishment okay but if, he, if the persons after completed their mbbs if you want to establish in of the hospital for that some of the limited capital is necessary okay but in this employment no capital required okay and the order of letter of appointment so all the persons can get the job okay there is no need to arranging the capital next reward how can we get the reward in this business organization mean and the form of profit okay the profit is the reward for their business organizations okay but next in this professional in this professional in this profession how can we get the reward mean on the basis of professional fees okay the doctor also making the fee the lawyer also making the fees okay but in this employment he will get the reward on the basis of salary or wages okay in the form of salary or wages next risk so what are the risk are there any risk are there in this business activities mean profit or uncertain and irregular okay when we are conducting the business activities or the business organization some of the risk will be arises what are the risk mean the profit the profit is uncertain okay and irregular so this uh, loss of risk the risk of loss will be appear in this business organizations okay but in this professional area in this professional area fee is regular and certain okay so it will not be getting the negative point okay suppose if any of the client are meeting the doctor or the lawyer or the teacher the fee is regular one okay so it is the certainty okay so there is no risk of loss okay but next in the employment what are the risk will be arises mean the fixed and regular pay okay some of the salary and wages are fixed and it will be paid on the regular basis okay here also no risk then in this business organization only have the risk next transfer of interest in this business organization if you want to transfer the interest we can easily transfer the possible with some formalities okay on the basis of the business law we can easily transfer the ownership from the one person to another one of the persons okay but in this profession we cannot transferring the interest from one person to another one of the persons okay because one persons want to become a doctor he must complete the mbbs and he has some of the experienced knowledge okay so this knowledge is also will be in their mind okay so it is not possible to transferring the interest from one person to another one of the persons okay so in this employment also so employment is also related to the working capacity of the individual persons okay so the working capacity will not capable to or will not arrange to transferable will not the transferable from one person to another one of the persons next code of ethics so what are the code of ethics is there in this business organization mean so no specific code of conduct moral and ethical dealing only okay there is no code of conduct but the moral the ethical dealings only is there but in this profession professional code of ethics are there okay as a doctor must be obey the code of ethics professional code of ethics so lawyer also so the all the professionalist must be obey and follow the professional code of ethics okay but in this employment rules and regulations of the employing organizations okay some of the rules and regulations is arranged by the employer or employing organization on the basis of the employing organization only he has to obey okay students so today we have completed the 
comparisons of business profession and employment and some of the characteristics of business okay if you have any doubt please ask me so tomorrow we can study the remaining portions thank you